yeah, give us a quick little intro about yourself. Okay, well, hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Blair Parker. Uh, I'm with First Responder Golf Foundation. Uh, I'm a police officer uh, in Gladstone, Missouri, which is right outside of Kansas City. Uh, been there for about eight years, and just pretty excited about what we got for our, our mission and what we got kind of going on for First Responder Golf Foundation. Uh, that was started about three or four years ago uh, by our founder, Steve Pope. Uh, he's a firefighter out in Kansas City, Kansas. And just kind of started it as something to kind of give first responders an outlet. You know, we kind of forget sometimes that we have some of that, like kind of like the silent killer, if you will, or have some issues with, you know, PTSD. And uh, so the big thing is that we wanted to have an outlet for those first responders to be able to kind of get out there, kind of rewind and kind of refresh themselves. And so the big thing for us is we're, we're able to do that through golf and through our foundation. So what we do is we get we teach first responders how to play golf. We get them out to play as well. And then each year we do a retreat out in Phoenix. So it's a whole week that we paid for by us. Um, it's first responders from all, all around the country. Uh, this year we had two uh, wildlife firefighters that kind of came out. It was kind of a cool story. I guess they were, they were partners and uh, they were tired. And then all of a sudden they kind of got reconnected. Unfortunately, one of them got diagnosed with cancer. And so we found that out, got them in touch with their uh, former partner, and we got them out there to play in Phoenix for the whole week. And uh, got to play the stadium course out in Phoenix. And so it's been very cool to kind of see us kind of grow. And we're trying to do a little bit more on social media and things. And that's kind of where I came in is uh, kind of got with Steve and told him, hey, like, we need to keep pushing this thing. I think we have a great idea. And uh, so I've been trying to really do, do the push on the social media and doing TikTok, Instagram, and things like that. Yeah, that's great. I mean, that's such a cool, like, I, I, I don't know. It's kind of just self-explanatory. It's a pretty great thing. Uh, what kind of, um, what made you want to be like a part of that as it's like growing? Yeah, absolutely. So I kind of was trying to think of my own thing to do. So I played golf in college. I played at uh, Division One High Point University. And so golf's always been a big part of my life. And so what I kind of was thinking was like, well, I know that, you know, there's a lot of first responders who want to play. And so I get a lot of people to play kind of my department and kind of round. It's a really good way to kind of get people to connect it and just kind of hang out for the weekend. And so I was thinking, well, maybe there's just some kind of a way that I can kind of do that. And I was thinking, well, maybe what I'll do is just teach people to play. Well, then I kind of saw the Steve. I knew him. And then he kind of had his thing kind of already going. But then he likes to kind of, what he talks about is doing it kind of more organically, like kind of word of mouth. And I was like, well, I think we can do something a little bit bigger. And so we've been kind of reaching out to people on social media. Uh, we just kind of got a, a golf ball company to reach out to us. And now we've been, they've been uh, sponsoring us to do golf balls for our golf tournament. Uh, and for a time that we do a retreat, they're going to give us free golf balls. Uh, we just signed a deal with a uh, out west. You can see them right here, a clothing company that I got. Uh, they're out of uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and they're they're able to send us um, some some clothes. And so we're now what we're doing is kind of neat is we're kind of like putting care packages together. So it's like whenever you come and we have our retreats, we ask them to reach out to us. Then all of a sudden they don't know that the first responders don't. Hey, we got you a couple shirts for the week. We got you some golf balls for the week got you some teas and we're working with other companies to kind of continue to grow that so they're coming out man they don't have to really bring much of anything other than just a, a good attitude and just to kind of help them to rejuvenate before they get back to work and back to their families cool yeah and i was looking before this is your fourth annual this coming year right this summer yeah this will be our fourth one it's gonna be august 5th uh we're gonna do it somewhere different we're doing it out at falcon lakes uh which is in cool. uh Baser, kansas it's a beautiful course out there and we're hoping that this year we've already we've already sold out which is fantastic i think it was in uh, like two or three days, we already had a full, a full uh, wow. deck of people, wow. and uh, so we're gonna. I think we're gonna end up doing a deal. We're actually probably gonna do one in October since it's, it's sold out so quickly. We're gonna do another one, hopefully. Nice. Uh, that's not for certain yet, but we're hoping to do that. And then we're also gonna do another retreat. I think in September we're gonna go to uh, Alabama and do some Robert Trent Jones courses. So we're trying to expand it, and uh, we're actually got a cool thing going on. I got one of my buddies out here. Uh, Griff, he's actually with the Liberty Police Department. Got Griff out here with me. We're playing, cool. and uh, we're actually going to be going in to Myrtle Beach in uh, three weeks. I don't know if you guys know who Jerry Carey is. Um, he kind of does a lot of TikTok and Instagram. But yeah, look him up after you get done. He's a pretty cool guy. Well, he's going to help us out, and uh, they're doing the thing called Southern Swing out in Myrtle Beach. And we're going to meet out with him and do some filming and some content to really kind of push 
uh, our agenda with just trying to get our mission out there and uh, kind of grow a little bit. So it's going to be kind of fun. You have to look into that. I'll send you guys some stuff you like. Absolutely. Sure. Dude, that's so cool. I love that. I mean, I know that. Uh, obviously you see a lot of those like benefit tournaments for you know first responders and stuff like that but that's really Absolutely. cool if it's like the main focus of it and really kind of giving back to that type of community and and growing the game of golf at the same time even for somebody who hasn't played before so that's that's really really sick yeah i appreciate that absolutely yeah so did you play before kind of joining the foundation and then like or did you like just play when you were younger or something and then kind of got back into golf how did that Kind of yeah, for sure. Yeah, so I, I came from a golfing family, to be honest with you. Uh, my grandfather was really big on my dad's side, played a bunch. Uh, my dad played, my uncle would play, and then my cousin, he played Division One golf. That's what kind of got me to, like, kind of keep pushing it. And yeah. so we grew up going to Myrtle Beach. Like, that's that's obviously, it's that's the pretty much the golf capital of, you know, the United States of, like, having, right. like, 80 to 100 golf courses within, like, 20 minutes of each other. Literally. Yeah, I mean, literally. it's, pretty, it's you know, 20 miles or so of each other. Uh, so I grew up going down there, and then like I said, I played I played in the High Point University, which is North Carolina's Division One school. So I played mm-hmm. had a golf scholarship there, and uh, so yeah, it's just been a big part of my life. And then now I have uh, young kids, and so I've been trying to get them to uh, to get into, it, and they love it. So I just go out there, and even if it's just going there and hitting a couple of golf balls, and then we run and get a hot dog and some candy in the clubhouse, that's okay, <laughs> that's a win. I got oh, them yeah. out there. So then that's what we've been working on right now is. I'll get my daughter to go. She's three, so I'm getting her to go out there and play. And most times she likes to put the golf ball in the tee for me, which is fine because I don't have to bend over. Right. So that's been it's great. So it's been, it's, you know, it's like an automatic, you know, a ball drop thing for me. And uh, so that, and then obviously then she wants to go inside and get chips and candy. But it's, like I said, it's a win because she gets to get out there and spend some time together. So it's been really, really cool. Heck yeah. Uh, how long have you been um, a police officer for? Uh, I've been a police officer for eight years uh, huh. at Gladstone. Uh, I've been on the SWAT team for seven years, and then oh, I've done uh, – <laughs> do, yeah, so then I was on that for a while, and then I was a detective, and then now I went back and I got promoted, and now I'm back on the road. Damn. Holy oh, shit. It's like a whole episode yeah. of Criminal Minds just in one person. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah got, got a lot of stuff going on here, yeah. That's sick. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.